Chaniac. How you doing out there today? I hope you're doing well and keeping safe and being cool. It's actually a cool day for the first time. I'm here with my lovely bride. Say hi, honey. Hi. And my brat kid. Where are we going today? Where are we going today? St. Xavier. St. Xavier. We're going for a college visit. St. Xavier. I'm going to check out the chicks. They're going for the academics. So get this. That was Joliet that we just drove through, which is the home of the one and the only, the infamous and famous Scrap Kingdom. So I sent him a message saying, hey, we're, we're driving through your backyard right now. He says, well, I'm in Indianapolis for a dance competition for his daughters, right? I'm sure he's, he's down there wearing a tutu right now. But he goes, he's just a few miles away from Dumpster Jerry's place. <laughs> Crazy world we live in, huh? Well, apparently this must be the stadium. I apologize for the wind or the breeze. Of course, I gotta take a chance here. Let's go look in the dumpsters. It's pretty small football field. But man, it's a beautiful day out today. Oh man, wouldn't this be nice if this was all metal? <laughs> it's a PVC pipe. Nothing but junk. Oh man, there's a nice piece of metal right there. Look at that. That's like aluminum. It's a whiteboard. Man. Sure. All right, we are done with the tour. Now we're going over to fry the coop. We heard this was really good chicken. <laughs> what do you want, Ashley? Chicken strips. Chicken strips. Shocker. We need this decor, everybody. <laughs> What's up, Shaniacs? Just getting back from the college tour and uh, stopping there at the restaurant. The restaurant was okay. <clears throat> I mean, I, I wouldn't really recommend it. It was good. It was busy, but I really didn't get it. Maybe I ordered the wrong thing. I don't know. But anyway, uh, if you are new to the channel, on Fridays we generally have the Friday night auction here locally, so we go down to that. We kind of film a preview of what's for sale. And then I uh, do my best to buy a few things and we go over what I bought and hopefully those will end up on eBay making us some money. So that is the plan. So come with me tonight to the, to the auction and let's get to it. Well, for the third week in a row, it's pretty empty back here. I don't know what's going on, but I guess let's go see what he's got to look at here. Taco stacks.
cool, man. This should be fun to look through. dollars Chalmers Detroit those are cool
All right, guys, you see all this stuff right here? This is all mine. I bought this pile here for one dollar. There was nothing I really want in there, but I was just trying to help out the auctioneer. I imagine we'll find a little something in there that's worth saving. This pile from here to here was eight dollars. This pile from here to here was eight dollars. This pile right here was five dollars, and that pile right there was five dollars. So we got a lot of sorting to do. I don't know how we're gonna do it all. Okay guys, let's see what's in this one quick. Some type of uh, eagle bag. Just a bunch of bags it looks like. I'm not interested in keeping any of those. So those are gonna stay here. I want to use this box for my keep pile. Anybody want a hippo? It's going to stay here too. Uh, GE cassette recorder. Whoa, that's old school. That's a keeper. That'll sell. What do you think, sell or scrap metal? Probably sell. Okay, so this is going to become my keep bucket, my keep box. So, pretty cool homemade dustpan thing. Nice. throw oh wow old vintage 70s tea kettle <laughs> McDonald's cooler that should be worth something another bag That's gonna be garbage. Okay, what we got here, guys? Looks like just some random. Oh, that's probably that's probably metal. I'll throw that in scrap. Scrap? That's what I do too. Another piece of scrap metal there. That does go together, but I've never had the good luck selling them. Plus they're a pain in the butt to ship. Okay, nothing but junk. All right, look at this. Shoe stretcher, pretty old. Those go pretty good. That's probably easily 10 bucks right there. Vintage decanter with the cork. I think that might sell. Looks 
like her arm's been repaired. Let's see here. Vaporizer. No thanks. Busted up. Kiwi missing the hinge. I don't think so. There's a replacement cap for a thermos in the original box. That may have some value. A couple metal dog dishes for scrap. It's a pretty old, cool 1950s thermos. Let's check this out. Electric tissues. <laughs> Corn cob with a pluggy. <laughs> I haven't looked at this yet. Oh, nice Royale Quiet Deluxe. That could pay for the whole pile. I don't know anymore, but these paint my numbers. They used to sell really good. So I'll have to see how they're doing these days. And a barometer. I think it's missing something on the bottom, but some of you probably still buy it. It's aluminum. Better buy the scrap metal. It's missing a. Yeah. Feel good button. That yeah, might be worth looking into. I'm gonna just take this whole box as is. It's got a lot of old games in it. I will not take a puzzle though. Puzzles, I never take puzzles. And go to the head of the class. That's in pretty good shape. Why mystery game? Bingo. Master detective game. Three ring binder can go. There's an old Monopoly game in there. See that? 500 puzzle pieces can go. Americans plastic checkers. There's probably the checkerboard. There's a checkerboard. Couple checkerboards. Password, scribbage. Oh, it's one of those, uh, it's one of those wooden art models. Originally sold for $11.99. So guys, I still have to go through all this and half of this. So what you've seen so far is inside those two boxes that I'm taking home. So I'm going to wrap this video up, continue searching through this, and I'll show you what else I took home here. In the next video. So I was wrong. Uh, I paid six dollars for those instead of five dollars for those two, row, two, two groups. So anyway, yeah, twenty-nine dollars is what I paid for everything. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, what a great night to be down here at the auction to get all this stuff for such a bargain. So I'm going to keep going through this, and I'll show you more on the next video. So consider this part one of two. Take care of yourselves, guys, and we will see you at the next dumpster. Peace out, everybody. Take care. Good night.